so I guess, well, the medals are amazing. Um, it, it's interesting the way you look at, at, at your performances. So two silver medals, um, the, the first one in, in Beijing 2008 uh, was really hollow feeling. We were a very young, inexperienced team, but really capable of winning that, that gold medal. And things didn't really go to plan for us. We were very narrowly beaten in, into the, well, beaten out of the gold medal by Germany. Um, I remember standing on, on the, the dais sort of thinking what could have been and being pretty disappointed with my pers own personal performance. I think I was individually 14th, but certainly had much higher aspirations. And then you, you go to um, Tokyo where I think individually 10th, I couldn't have been happier with, with the whole performance. Um, we were fairly com comprehensively beaten by the English, but our performance was well above what we were expected to do. And I guess with different experiences, you see things uh, differently. To be an Olympian uh, is an amazing thing to represent your country at the highest level of, of sport. Uh, Australians, I think, have always um, respected uh, the Olympics, the Olympic movement um, and the Olympians that, that have represented in the past and I'm very proud to have done so and hopefully can do it again. At 50 I'm, a, I'm so much better rider now than I, than I was in my 20s. I feel like the knowledge I have now, if I was to go back and, and compete on some of those horses that I had had in, in especially in 2008, I, I think I'd definitely come away with a, diff, a, a different result. Um, Obviously, I have to work harder on my fitness and, and, and flexibility and, and strength and things like that. Um, I think the thing that, that's the hardest f for me is um, not the motivation, you know, I'm probably as motivated now as I ever have been, um, but just that physicality and, and staying in a, in a physical capacity and, and the um, yeah, you know, when you're 18 and 20, you're fearless, absolutely fearless. When you, you get older, you, you start to understand the, you know, the risks and, uh, and things that go through. So being brave enough and, and fit enough are the things that, that make it harder to, to stay in the sport for a long, long time. But so far, I'm pretty uh, looking after myself well enough and certainly um, have the hunger. And Swiss have been great. Uh, for, for, for me as an athlete. Through, I've been fortunate enough to be involved with them for a very long period of time. Um, whilst our sport is different to a lot of other sports and we, we don't fit into the same banner of being able to go and use the gym and, and you know, the, the running facilities or, or whatever that, that other athletes have, whilst it's, it's different uh, support than a lot of other sports have, have got, I'm um, really appreciative of being involved and, and you see someone with, with one of these jumpers on and, and you can associate with them and, and understand, well, not, not know what they're doing, but understand that they're um, on a similar path.